Hi, it's up for another math easy solution. Trying to discuss another video on the closed interval method and uh, for finding absolute maximum and minimum values of function. And I'll look at a example that deals with the space shuttle uh, launch. Uh, basically, is a pretty interesting example in my calculus books. I'll go over that right now. But before I get to it, I just want to quickly recap on a closed interval method. You can see more on this in the video links below. Basically, it, it states to find the absolute maximum and minimum values of a continuous function on a closed interval. A and B closed interval just means that the values uh, that that the function exists at A and B at the endpoints. Basically, step one is find the values of f at the critical numbers in basically uh, A and B inside this closed interval. So you find it at the critical numbers, which are whenever the derivative ex is uh, either zero or does not exist. For example, over here in between this closed interval, this is a function f of x right here. A and B is the interval, and these critical points uh, is, an, is an example. At C1, it does not exist, the derivative, so that's a critical point. And C2 is basically a derivative of 0. That's another critical point. And then step 2 says find the values of f at the endpoints. You find these values. And finally, step 3 is compare the two steps to see which is the largest value of all these is the absolute maximum. The smallest of these is absolute minimum. So basically, it states that to find an absolute man or max or min, it has to be at one of these points, right, right? for example, anywhere in the critical numbers or at the endpoints. So now, to help illustrate this, this uh, method, I'm going to go over this example, which states the Hubble Space Telescope was deployed on April 24th, 1990, which is about 24 years ago, by the Space Shuttle Discovery. Um, and a model of the velocity of the shuttle during this mission from liftoff at T is e equal to zero seconds, until the, the solid rocker rocket boosters were jet, jet jettisoned, or jetsoned, or whatever uh, you pronounce it, at t equals 126 seconds is given by this function. And jetson just means that the uh, rocket boosters are just basically released from here. So it's initially here's a t equals zero, and then all the way until these were released. So that we're just we're just modeling that right here with this function, at velocity at time t, and it's in feet per seconds. Is basically yeah, given as 0 0.001302 times t cubed uh, minus this this number uh, then times t squared plus this times t then minus 3.083. Now the question says using this model estimate the absolute maximum and minimum values of the acceleration of the shuttle between liftoff and the jettisoning of the boosters. Remember this is. Um, we're finding the acceleration, the absolute of it, not this is velocity, not acceleration. So we would need to take a derivative first to get the acceleration function. So and we know that the acceleration is equal to basically a of t is equal to this the derivative of the velocity or the rate of change of the velocity, and this one would equal to well we put this three down, so three times yeah times uh, 0 0.001302 then times t squared. So we bring that down using power rule for derivatives. Now we do the same thing for the next one, minus 2 times, yeah, times 0 0.09029 times t, and that's just bringing this power down using power rule as well, and then plus, plus 23.61, and then multiply this out using calculator, you'll end up with basically a of t is equal to, yeah, so finally we basically get this 0 0.003906 t squared, minus this number times t, then plus 23.61. So now we can apply the closed uh, interval method to find out what the maximum of accelerations are during that interval of 0 to 126 seconds. And we can do that basically by following the steps. So step 1 is finding the critical numbers. This is a continuous function, and this is just a polynomial. So basically, there's, the derivative is, is going to exist at all points. So we have to find out when the derivative is 0. So first, let's find out the derivative. So a of t, this would equal 2 basically using power rule. Bring this down two times point zero zero yeah three nine zero six times it by t and then minus uh, this one over here point one zero five eight and this just cancels out now that th this derivative of twenty three point six one is just zero yeah so basically we have this derivative now we just set it equaling to zero actually but before I get to that I just want to just multiply this two out to get this function here so now we'll set it equal to zero so it's equal equals to this. Now solving for t, we get, yeah, we get, just divide this out, move this over and divide it out, point uh, one eight zero five eight 
uh, divided by this number. This is approximately equal to 23.12 seconds right here. So this is a critical number right here. Yeah, so that's a critical number. So now we could plug in basically our function, um, this number inside our acceleration function. So 23.12 seconds, this would equal to, if we plug it inside this function, plug in your calculator, we will get, yeah, we'll get 21.52. I'm not gonna plug it in now, I did it earlier. So it's about feet per second squared of units for acceleration. So this is what it is. So now we have to do step two, which is just find the endpoints. Now the endpoints we know that basically uh, of zero, so the, uh, at liftoff at t equals zero, so plug this into this function here, This uh, the t becomes zero, we're just gonna get left with 23.61. So it goes 23.61 feet per second. And now the last one, a is 126. This is equal to, plug that into here, using the calculator you're gonna get, you're gonna get about 62.8 eight seven feet per second and now the final step step three and we just compare the values actually is for front the units here this is a squared so second squared so you compare the two values uh, I'm to compare the three values from steps one and two we get absolute maximum is just this one right here at the final uh, just just when it's jettisoning the uh, rocket boosters so just at the very end the end points of 62.87 feet per second squared so it's the fastest or the largest acceleration and the smallest is at this critical number when the derivative is zero or the acceleration is zero and the rate rate change of acceleration or the um, yeah, or the jerk or whatever it's called for the rate of change of acceleration is zero. So basically this is at 21.52 and this is less than the initial uh, acceleration of 23.61 and that is the absolute minimum right here. And here to uh, better illustrate the function I've graphed out the uh, velocity which is this blue one right here V of T in comparison with the acceleration. This is A of T except I've also multiplied it by yeah, by 100 and the reason is just so the scale is better otherwise it's gonna be really really smart it's hard to see this curve so as you can see at this point right here uh, this this uh, basically this blue velocity function it kinda curves down a bit there's a slight inflection here and it goes back up so it's a bit faster acceleration uh, at this point as, as you see at the starting point it's a bit higher than this little curve down which is about that at 23 ish so it's, there's a zero derivative right here so that's a zero derivative over there and as you see then it goes back up really high so it's getting keeps getting higher and higher and then this it's somewhere over here 126 actually it should be somewhere around here and this is the highest so if you see it in a close interval because we're only looking at the velocity here so we'll have an absolute max here absolute minimum here so it's it's lower than the initial point Anyways, that's all for today. Uh, yeah, it's just another thing. This is 100 there, so multiply by 100 just to make a scale better. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learn from this. Uh, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another Math Ease.